Welcome to uh, the part of the evening where my band are going to share a fact with you. <laughs> and uh, it's the long standing Laura Marling show feature. <laughs> and uh, it's a competition for the band. Keep them on their toes if they're interested. And uh, it's judged on your response to their fact. <laughs> so if you really like something, then really let it show. <laughs> Simon won last night, did you not? No, um, Nick won last night. Emma won the night before. It's all to play for. So, Matt, will you uh, start us off, please? Actually, Laura, because it's the last night of the tour, um, we've come up with a special edition fact <laughs> section <laughs> um, based on uh, Have I Lied to You? Um, so, each of us is going to present you in the audience with a fact about ourselves. But one of us is lying. <laughs> and you have to guess which one of us it is. <laughs> so, when I was 12 years old, I was in love with a girl that lived on my road called Emma Corridor. She was uh, 15 and beautiful, and I would have done anything for her. And one night, she was uh, in, around my house. My, our parents were friends. And um, to my amazement and delight, she was in my bedroom with a friend of hers. And I was just being really funny. I, everything I said, they were just like... And just when I thought, yeah, I'm a boss, I realized that the source of their amusement was the fact that there was a hole in my trousers and my 12-year-old Willie was, was pregnant. <laughs> I've been in a band with you for 10 years now, and for five of those 10 years you didn't wear underwear, so... <laughs> <laughs> unofficially expelled from school for being caught drunk seven nights in a row. <laughs> um, and the, the school wrote a letter to, to my dad, um, who, so the story goes, wrote a letter back um, saying, Dear Sir, I hope you realise that Arsenal have just won the Premiership <laughs> and the FA Cup, and that every single member of the Beanie family uh, quite a lot of them here have been drunk for the past seven years. Great. I just want that to be true. <laughs> Simon? Mine's a shorter story. For my 15th birthday, I asked my parents for a giant teddy bear called Theodore. It's about that big. Much to their suspicion. <laughs> and I love it as well. Do you like? I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, Tom? Um, when I was younger, I was quite hyperactive. I've calmed down now. And um, I used to bite people. Um, and draw blood, and um, <laughs> my mum and my sister here used to have to chase me and wrestle me to the ground, and then force feed me lemon juice to punish me. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, lo and behold, I no longer bite, so it didn't work. <laughs> friends with um, Howard Marks from Mr. Nice fame. Uh, yeah, that's right, okay. You can find him in the centrefold of the book, uh, imprisoned with him, not in prison, but visiting. Anyway, that's not, that's not the fact. Um, and uh, we went to stay with them in uh, Mallorca, and it was one of their kids' birthdays, and they'd cooked, uh, made a birthday cake, uh, one of which was a hash cake. <laughs> 
<laughs> for the adults, and one of which was a cake for the children. Uh, and at 11, I ate the wrong cake. <laughs> He's called Theodore. He was real? He's real. Okay. <laughs> so real. Thank <laughs> you. 